Hi, folks. Welcome back here. This is uh, take two of how to enter Heron's formula into a TI-84. Okay, first we're going to go right here to Programs, and I click Program. I'm going to scroll over to New. All right, I'm going to push the 1. That's to Create New. I'm going to call it Heron's Formula. You'll notice that the cursor is flashing with an A. That tells us it's already in alpha mode. We can go ahead and use the green letters here. Okay, so H E R O N. Okay, and now I'm pressing enter. Okay, now we're going to go to program. We'll be doing this several times. And then we're going to go to input output. Then I'm going to click on eight which tells us clear home, and I'm going to press enter. Clear home just gives us a good uh, clear screen when we start our whole program. Next, I'm going back to program, and I'm going back to I.O., and now we're going to three for display. And we need to enter some text again, so we're going to go to second alpha. And that's right there. Now you can see that we have got a flashing A again. I'm going to begin by typing quote and then Heron's formula. So H E R O N S. Now I'm going to enter a space that's right down here at the zero. And now we're going to type in the word formula F O. R M U L A. Now we have to enter our other quote, and then finally we have to hit alpha again to go back to the normal mode. Okay, we're going to press enter. All right, now we're going back to program, and we're going to I O. And then we're going to go to input, which is number one. Okay, now we've got input, and we're going to enter text. So we're going second alpha. And we need a quote. And we need an A. And then we need a space. And then we need an end quote. And now we're going to... Okay, we're back live here now, folks. You can see that I have entered my uh, other, my end quote there, and I'm still on alpha. At this point, we need to enter a comma, and the comma is right here, but we have to press alpha first and then comma. Okay, press enter. Now we're going to go back to program. Then we are going to go back to I.O. and then input. And input here now is going to be alpha. And we're going to have quote B equals. Ah. Okay, so now for B equals, we need to go to second test one. Okay, now we're going to go to second alpha again, space, end quote, press alpha, comma. Now I am going to go back up here and fix this. Now where the equal sign is, I have to hit second math, and then I'm going to press the one there. That gives me my equal. Then I'm going to go back into my alpha, and I'm going to click on a space, and then a quote, alpha again, and then the comma. And that gets me back where I should be. Okay, so now we are back here. I'm going to press Enter. And we are going back to Program, I.O., 1 for Input. 
And now we're going to do the same thing with the C. So we're going to go second alpha, and we have a quote, we have a C. We now need to go second math, one. Okay, and now second alpha, space, quote, alpha, comma, enter. Next, program, I-O. Now we're going to go for three, display. And it's display, we're going to go type in a string of letters, so we're going to go back to our second alpha key, and we're going to type in the words the area is. Now I'm going to press alpha again. I'm going to press enter. Now I'm going back to program. Again, I O three. Now we're going to type in our formula, which is going to be pretty tedious. However, Okay, we're going to start off by using the square root symbol. So let's go ahead and find our square root symbol. There it is right there. So it looks like second square root. Okay, now we certainly need all of these parentheses. In fact, we're going to start off with three. Now I'm going to type with the alpha key. I'm going to type A. plus, nope, I'm going to type A plus B plus C. This time you can see that I'm not locking the alpha key. Now I'm going to type one parenthesis, then the division sign, then the number two, then another close parenthesis. Now I'm going to have three open parentheses again, and again I'm going to enter alpha, oh not alpha, but A plus B plus C. So A plus B plus C, and a closed parenthesis divided by 2, and another parenthesis. Minus A close parenthesis. Okay, now three open parentheses. And again, alpha A plus alpha B plus alpha C. One close parenthesis divided by two close parenthesis minus alpha B close parenthesis. Almost there. Three open parentheses. Alpha A plus alpha B plus alpha C. Close parentheses divided by two. Close parenthesis minus alpha C, two close parentheses. And now we're going to enter. 
Now, back to program. Back to input output. We will select three for display. And we're going to go second alpha. And we're going to enter with quotes the words squared units. Don't forget your space. And don't forget your end quote. Press your alpha key again. Press enter. And that should be it. So now we're going to quit. Second quit. Okay, now we're going to test our program. And in so doing, we are going to press program. And now we see Heron's program listed there. So we're going to press enter. And then we're going to press enter again. And it is going to tell us there is an error. So we're going to go back and see if we can't fix that. So I'm going to pause. Back live here, folks. It looks like to me right here, I should have to type A or alpha and A. And then I'm going to scroll down alpha B. And then I'm going to scroll down alpha C. Now, if you ask me, that could fix everything for us because we didn't have anything to uh, uh we need something to ask us for side A, side B, and side C. So let's go and test this bad boy now. Okay, so we're going to go back to program. We're going to click enter on Heron. We're going to click enter again. And now we get the A. That's excellent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test this by entering a really easy triangle. I'm going to use a right triangle, simply a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Now a three, four, five triangle is a right triangle, and so we should be able to say one half base times height, and furthermore, that would give us three times four, which is twelve, divided by two is six, and you can see that the program works. And so that is all on this end. Thank you and good night.